He could be creating an army. Or he could be leading them to their death. So tell me, tell me how do you guys got approached for this character and what you guys thought when they tell you was about Messiah? Uh, the first time that I auditioned, it was on a tape in New York, and then uh, it wasn't until months later where I uh, got a call saying that they wanted to see me in the room, so I went and went to New Mexico, met um, James and Michael, did the audition, and then like a few weeks later found out I was a part of it, and I mean, I was so excited because after reading that first script, it's just, it draws you in and you just, it's a vision that you see while you're even reading it. So, um, yeah, just finding out that I was a part of it was so exciting. Yeah, I. Um, it's funny because I was going through a tough time because I was uh, cast in an exciting show um, f that David O. Russell was going to do um, with Robert De Niro to play Robert De Niro's son, and it fell apart in the last minute, and literally. Like the day after, they called me to meet with James and Michael Petroni for the, for Messiah, and I read the script that night. The night I found out about the project, the dream project that wasn't going to happen, I read this script. I was like, "Oh my God, this is amazing!" And um, and and met with them, and I thought already that I wanted to do it. But then when I met with them, I was like. I really want to do it, and and I wrote them a letter saying that it was so great meeting them, and they responded saying you should read the other episodes because Felix wasn't in a lot of the first one, and I told them I don't need to that I want to be in it if they if I'm lucky enough to get the offer, and then like a week later they offered me the part, and I think I might have been the first actor that was cast, so. It was interesting. It didn't matter who the other actors were going to be at the time, but I was very interested to see who else was going to come on board. And then each one, as they were coming on, it was more and more exciting. So it just was this like amazing snowball of excitement and enthusiasm about beginning to work on this fascinating project. There's a lot of topics that um, this show brings to the surface, and um there's something that I found very interesting, and it was that your character has epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple things in the show that um, was very interesting to me because you say that your parents are in denial and that you can also see things. And there's been this notion that people with epilepsy are possessed by the devil or something like that. Do you know anything about that? Is that was part of your character? Is there something about that? Well, when I was doing research on epilepsy, I found a lot of uh, people discussing that um, their epileptic seizures allowed them to see things in different ways. And when they came out of mal seizures, um, they sometimes felt like they had answers to things or knew things that others didn't. So this kind of otherworldly experience. So I think with Rebecca, um, the audience doesn't quite know what if if what the seizures are. If they are some kind of vision, um, if they're not, if they're just seizures. Her parents believe that they're just seizures, but she feels like there's something weird and the dreams feel real and. I, she's trying to discover what that means to her, and um, I mean, I have my ideas about it, but uh, I think it's up for interpretation. 